Hallelujah to Jesus. Father, we bless your holy name. We worship you, Lord. Be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. This is God's own channel with Evangelist. Sarah, you are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a kind of a painful something, you know. Let me say a painful exit. <clears throat> like, I'm not saying that person is dying, but the Lord said, give them the time that they need. Yeah. They are running away. They are running away. Sometimes, you know, when people so suddenly felt that, okay, you are not good enough. They have found someone better. Or they have found something else better than you. And because of the heart that we have, we find ourselves in that situation where we want to keep them attached to our life. The Lord said, I should tell you, if they want to run, <coughs> let them run. If they want to walk, let them walk. <coughs> now, look after yourself. Yeah. If they don't want to run, let them run. Because the more you keep dragging them, the more they keep finding a reason to hurt you. So if they choose to walk, let them walk. Let them walk. That is why I said painful exit. Sometimes losing some set of people in our life, it is very difficult and hard. I must tell you that. <laughs> because that it makes us human. Even in friendship, there are some friendship like when you lose it, you are like, wow. I never thought this friendship could end. There are a lot of memory. There are a lot of things you did together. You grew up together. You, you did this together. You work together. You do, you know, you are like, how did this happen? <clears throat> how did this happen? Hallelujah. Even our parents, many of them left us. So how did that happen? The Bible says, it said, can a mother forget her sucking child? That she should not have compassion on the fruits of her, the, as in the fruits of her womb, the fruits of her labor. He said, yeah, though they may forget. He said, I will not forget you. Now, the book of Psalms, the Bible says, when my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take me up. <clears throat> if there are situations where mother and father even forsake their own child, the Lord took those child up. The Lord brought them to a place where they are being raised and they become fulfilled. They become responsible. Then what is it that you will not want to walk that you will not, that, that will not end your life? No. The situation, <laughs> they felt that when they keep doing that, you keep coming to apologize. You keep coming to beg. You keep coming to say things that <laughs> will make them stay. If they want to walk, let them walk. Everyone is not allowed to walk with you on this journey, child of God. Sometimes the journey can be lonely, I tell you. The journey can be full of isolation. But one thing that you should know, is what it is. Because the Bible says, come out among them and be ye separated. There is a price for all of that. Hallelujah. There is a reward for all of that. They will keep walking away. You keep wanting them. They keep walking away. You keep wanting them. And their heart just pile up. If they want to walk this time, let them walk. If they realize that them running or walking away is not going to fix anything, they will come back. This time, if they want to walk, give them the chance to walk. I pray may the Lord help us in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, child of God. Jesus love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.